Next, we are going to collect information on tree density within our site. This will include measuring each tree, both non-native and native species. We'll collect similar information such as species code and the common name. But we also collect information such as the tree health, and this is a general characteristic, characteristic such as healthy, stressed, or dead. We'll also want to collect the diameter at breast height, as well as the height of the tree, and whether any invasive vines are present on the tree. So first we'll be collecting the diameter. I have already determined the diameter at breast height on me, which is four and a half, four and a half feet, and it falls right about here. This is an easy way for you to be able to use your body as a reference point when you're measuring the diameter around the tree. So you want to take the measuring tape and hold it tightly at the diameter at breast height and I get a measurement around six and a half inches. Now if there's any trees that fall under your dia the diameter at breast height, so if it's under four and a half feet in height, uh, such as this tree, or if you cannot measure the diameter on it, then we classify it as 0 0.5 inches. Next, we're going to collect height on our trees. For small trees such as this, it's easy to just estimate. For example, this one would be about a four foot tree. For larger trees, we'll need to use tools such as a measuring tape and a clinometer. We'll want to go to about 60 feet away from the tree. This helps us to get accurate data, accurate data when using the clinometer. Christine will use a clinometer to measure the height of this tree. Now because the overstory in, on our site, the height of the trees are all relatively the same, we will not have to measure each tree. But instead, we'll just measure this tree and estimate the heights of the other trees within our site. 